今日もこのイエスを見るシリーズを続きます。And we're continuing our series, Look at Jesus, uh, today also, uh, based in the Gospels. 福音書に基づいてシリーズです。今日のお話はイエスは多くの人を癒すと題しています。マタイ9章18節から38節に基づいています。and today the message is Jesus heals many people and it's based on Matthew chapter 9 verses 18 to 38. Let's begin with a look at Luke 8:40. Luke 8:40節から始めましょう. Now when Jesus returned, a crowd welcomed him, for they were all expecting him. It says he returned, and that would be returned back to Capernaum, where he was staying. Then a man named Jairus, a ruler of the synagogue, came and fell at Jesus' feet, pleading with him to come to his house. そこへヤイロという人が来た。この人は街道町であった。彼はイエスの足元にひりふして自分の家に来てくださるようにと願った。ま、これはあのカファナムの街道の遺跡です。このヤイロはもう街道町やっているところはこの同じ場所ですでも this is the ruins of the synagogue at Capernaum, and where Jairus was the a leader of the synagogue, would have been in the same place, but not the same building. This building was built later on top of the former building. And of course, today this building is also just in ruins and a memorial. While he was saying this, a ruler came and knelt before them and said, My daughter has died, but come and put your hand on her and she will live. And we know the ruler that's mentioned here is that same synagogue leader, Jairus, that we saw in Luke chapter 8. And he says his daughter has just died, but he believes that Jesus can heal her if Jesus will just come and lay his hand upon her and so we can imagine he's very sad, he's suffering, but he comes and asks Jesus for help. Well, Jesus got up and went with him, and so did his disciples. Just then, a woman who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years came up behind him and touched the edge or the tassel of his cloak. わざらって出血がまあ、まず、これを見たら、もう、イエスはある人に願われて、もう途中でベツの人も助け、求めていますね。And we see this, you know, that Jesus is very busy. You know, he's on his way to answer one person's request when somebody else is coming up from behind him seeking help. Now she touched the edge or the tassel of his cloak, and this is kind of superstitious that she would believe that this would bring her healing, but she really couldn't approach Jesus directly and ask for help, because with this uh, 
bleeding, she would be considered unclean by the law of Moses that these people kept. So she can't really go up to the teacher and say, Oh, Sensei, please help me, because she's thought to be unclean because of the bleeding. こと and with 12 years she's been bleeding, she probably has given up all of her money and most of her possessions to the doctors and stuff, looking for healing and getting various medicines, but nothing helped. Now it talks about the edge or tassel of Jesus' cloak. Well, what is that? Nandashoka. Well, this is a modern uh, Jewish, conservative Jewish man. And you see, he's got tassels on his uh, shirt. Now, of course, Jesus didn't have pants or a shirt like this. But from the time of Moses, these tassels were worn as a sign of their Jewish faith. それ of course, this is from Deuteronomy 22.12. It says, make tassels on the four corners of the cloak you wear. Matthew 9.21. Let's get back to Matthew. She said to herself, if I only touch his cloak, I will be healed. Jesus turned and saw her. Take heart, daughter, he said. Your faith has healed you. And the woman was healed from that moment. We see here, first, Jesus doesn't allow her to do this secretly. He turns around. He knows that power has gone out to heal her. And he says, take heart, daughter. The first thing he does is encourage her so that she won't be afraid that he'll be angry or something. And the second is he confirms that she has been healed, but not by the superstitious act of touching his clothing, but rather by faith. そして、まず励ましの言葉があるんですね。娘よ、元気になりなさい。心配する必要はないですね。怒っていないことと証拠しますそして励ましていますね。そして次はあなたの信仰があなたを救ったとありますね。これはもう本当に癒されてと あ、
普通の社会に戻ってもいいですよと宣伝です。Now, why did Jesus come and say this out loud in front of everybody when the woman was trying to、uh, just kind of hide? Well, first of all, so the woman herself would know that she had been healed, but also so the crowd, the other people there, would know that this woman had been healed and that she should no longer be treated as unclean, but she should be welcomed back to regular society. And this is a painting by Paola Veronese, the Christ healing a woman with an issue of blood. And I like this painting, and what I like about it is that the other people are already touching the woman because they know she's been healed, and they wouldn't be touching her if they thought she was unclean still. この集結があった女を癒すクリストという絵ですね。これはもうパウロ・ベロネーズができた絵です。私はこの絵の好きなところは、その女の周りの人々はもう女に手を座っていますね。それで、uh, みんなはもう汚れていないと認めているようですね。マタイ、九章二十三節に入りましょう。これは、あの、ヤイロの街道長の話に戻ることですね。Let's get back to the synagogue ruler、uh, that Jesus was on his way to his home, and this is in Matthew 9, 23 and following. When Jesus entered the ruler's house and saw the flute players and the noisy crowd. Now, this would be the flute players and the noisy crowd is talking probably about professional mourners. At that time, when someone died, you know, the person was in sorrow and they were mourning. But to let everybody else know about their grief, they would also hire professionals to come and, and play flutes and to lament and stuff about the death. Jesus said, Go away, the girl is not dead but asleep. But they laughed at him. So these people especially would laugh about that, having been mourners at many funerals, they were professionals, and they would think it ridiculous that Jesus thought that the woman was only asleep or the girl was only asleep. Yesu wa shidoshi no ie ni iki, fui o fuku mono tachi ya sawai di iru gunshu to arimas ne. この人たちはもうプロの泣き女と泣き男でしょう。その当時の文化の中で誰かがもう死んだ時にもうその悲しんでいる家族の人はこの泣き女泣き男を雇ってこの人たちは自分の悲しみを表してくれるのですね。お金のためですけど。この泣き男、泣き女は、もう、シエスはご覧になって言われた。あちらへ行きなさいとおっしゃいました。少女は死んだのではない、眠っているのだと。人々はイエスをあざ笑った。多分、特にその泣き女と泣き男は、大きな死んだ人の家に行って、もう、シエスはこの人たちは、この、娘は眠っているだけと言ったらもうイエスはバカと思ったでしょう。あざ笑っています。でも次はイエスは主であることを証拠します。After the crowd had been put outside, he went in and took the girl by the hand and she got up. And news of this spread all through that region. 群衆を外に出すとイエスは家の中に入り、少女の手を取りになった。すると、少女は起き上がった。この噂はその地方一帯に広まった。そこでは、シエスは何か薬を使ったわけではない。何か特別の儀式もありませんでした。ただ、その手を取って、その娘を癒されました。よみがえらせたのです。もう死にましたから。And Jesus doesn't give her any Well, secret medicine or conduct some special ceremony. He simply takes the girl's hand and she rises, coming up from the dead, and is healed. And of course,、uh, everyone hears about that. So here's a painting that、uh, is done by Vasily Polonov, The Resurrection of Jairus' Daughter. And what I like in this painting is, is the girl's eyes open and she's looking up at Jesus. I can just imagine, you know. She's looking up at Jesus. She's probably thinking, Who are you? <laughs> Why am I here?、Uh, but she's risen again, and the family has great joy. 
この絵が好きなところは、これはもう、ワシリー・ポロノフの絵ですね。でこれは、私はこの絵が好きなところは、その娘の目ですね。娘の目は、シエスの姿を見て、私は想像だけですけど、この娘は、あ、この男は誰でしょうかと思ってるでしょう。では、よみがえらせましたので、もう、両親はお喜びだったでしょう。ルカ八章五十六節にこれもあります。同じ話について。Her parents were astonished, but he ordered them not to tell anyone what had happened. And this is from Luke 8:56。娘の両親は非常に驚いた。イエスはこの出来事を誰にも話さないようにとお命じになった。また、九章に戻って二十七節から。Let's get back to Matthew, and this is from verse 927 and following. As Jesus went on from there, two blind men followed him, calling out, having, Have mercy on us, son of David. Yes, God, so called, or the Kaki in Naruto, Futari no Mojin Ga, Sakin de, David no Koyo, Watash Tachio, Awadindi Kudisaito, Inagara, Suite Kita. この人たちは盲人ですけれども、よくわかっているようですね。ダビデの子という呼び方は、メシアを指している呼び方ですね。その預言者たちは、メシアが来られるときに、そのメシアはダビデの子孫から出るとありました。預言されました。それダビデの子は、メシアよと同じような意味となっています。Now, these blind men Uh, they couldn't see with their eyes, but they understood very well because they called Jesus Son of David, which is one of the titles of the Messiah who's to come, prophesied to be a descendant of David. So they're recognizing him as Messiah when they say this. When he had gone indoors, the blind men came to him. I like this part. Jesus goes into a house, and the blind men just boldly follow right in after him without an invitation. The blind men came to him and he asked them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? Yes, Lord, they replied, and they show their faith that they believe he can bring healing. And I'm thinking that they are probably familiar with the prophecies of Isaiah, and they know that when the Messiah comes, that he will be able to heal the blind. Yes, ga ie ni hairu to mojin tachi ga sobe ni yotte kita. Kore wa choto tsuki ne tokoro desu ke demo, kono mojin tachi wa mo daita ni sono. イエスの後にその家に入りましてね。もうどうぞ来てくださいと何もの誘いの言葉はなかったでも、イエスに従って入りました。イエスが家に入ると、盲人たちがそばに寄ってきたので、私にできると信じるのかと言われた。二人は、はいしようと言った。この二人は、シエスは、もうこの目が見えない。ことを癒してくださると信じました。もう書かれていないですでも、この盲人たちは、イジアの役員をしていたでしょう。それは、メシアが来られるときに、もう、見えない目を開くという予言もありました。それは、イジア五章五節六節であります。And we can find in Isaiah 5,、uh, 5 and 6 this. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then will the lame leap like a deer and the mute tongue shout for joy. Sono toki, mienai hito no me ga hiraki, kikoenai hito no mimi ga hiraku. Sono toki, rukinakate hito ga, shka no yoni, odori agaru to arimas. So do a messiah ga koradiru toki ni, when the messiah comes. Matthew 9 29 and following. Then he touched their eyes and said, According to your faith will it be done to you, and their sight was restored. Jesus warned them sternly, See that no one knows about this. See, now Jesus heals them, but he doesn't want them to tell anyone. But will they obey him? What do you think? Matai kyusho niju kyusets kara. Soko de yesu ga futari no me ni sawari. Anata gata no shinjite iru tori ni. なるようにと言
言われると二人は目が見えるようになった。イエスはこのことは誰にも知らせてはいけないと彼に厳しくお命じになった。誰にも知らせてはいけないとイエスが命じてでもどうでしょうかその二人はその言葉に従うでしょうかこの世の驚くべきの奇跡があった時。いいえ、従わなかった。しかし、二人は外へ出ると、その地方一帯にイエスのことを広めた。その地方とありましても、それはガラダヤ地方を指しているでしょう。But they went out and spread the news about him all over that region. So even though Jesus ordered them not to talk about this, well, they went out and did it anyway. It says that region, it probably means the region of Galilee since that's where Capernaum was. また、九章三十二節。二人が出て行くと、悪霊に取り憑かれて、口の利きない人が、イエスのとこに連れられてきた。And then in Matthew 9:32, right after that we have, while they were going out, a man who was demon possessed and could not talk was brought to Jesus. Now, according to the thinking of that day, historians tell us, the Kishka wa mo toji no kangai kata ni yoru to, a man who was demon possessed but wasn't able to speak could not be healed. Mo akure ni skawara te hito de mo kuchi ga kiki nai hito wa yasare nai to yu kangai kata de shita. Nazi ka to imasu to. もうその悪霊を追い出すためにその名前を使う必要があったと思われていました。And the reason was because they thought that to cast out the demon you had to call the demon by name and cast him out.But Jesus didn't do that, so this is really an amazing thing to the people in that culture and time. シエスはその悪霊の名前は使わなかったことでこれはもう当時の人々にとってすごく驚きのことでしたね。And when the demon was driven out, the man who had been mute spoke, and the crowd was amazed and said, Nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel. アクリが追い出されると、口の聞けない人が物を言い始めたので、軍師は驚嘆し、こんなことは今までイスラエルで起こった試しがないと言った。ね、They're really surprised and amazed. And no doubt the crowds there and the person who was healed gave thanks to God and were just wonderfully happy that the man was healed. Machigai wa nai, sono toji no hito to, sono moari no hito bito wa, mo o yorokobi de kone iashi ni kanshite, kami sam ni kansha shite itta, kansha is ni agita de shou. But there's always somebody who's unhappy. Demo dona yoi teki goto demo, dareka ga monko yu de sho. And for Jesus, that was always the Pharisees. And yesu, she is no bai wa it's mo pharisai ha desh to ne. But the Pharisees said it is by the prince of demons that he drives out demons. Shkashi pharisai ha no hito bito wa, ano otoko wa, akure no kashire no chikare de, akure o oi dashi ri to ita. シエスを非難していました。でもそれはフェルサイ派の人たちの嫉妬だけでしょう。どう思いますか ?So the Pharisees had to criticize him somehow, and this is what they came up with. But I think they were just jealous of Jesus. What do you think? Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and sickness. And we can see in this painting by James Tissett that Jesus is just coming down the stairs in this narrow alleyway where all the sick are gathered and he's just healing them one by one because, you know, from where Jesus is toward us, there's only sick people, but behind Jesus, there are only happy people who have been healed. Yesu wa machi o mure o nokorazu mo wa te kaido de oshie mikuni no fuku no nobetsutai. ありとありゆる病気の患いを癒された。このジェームズ・ティッソができたもうアブレイですけれども
これを見てください。これはシエスはこの小道のところに階段を降りていきます。イエス様のところからこっち側では病人とあもう悲しんで苦しんでいる人ばかりで座っています。でもシエスの後ろの方にみんなは立って喜んでいます。癒されて人ですね。その当時は、シエスはその人をすべて癒されたということが書かれています。みんなはもうすごく感謝していたでしょう。シエスは癒しを与えただけじゃなくて、福音、その良い知らせもあお話になったことが多かったでしょう。But Jesus is not just healing the sick and helping them with their physical ailments, he's also Teaching the good news of the gospel to them. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. Bata gunshu ga kai nushi no inai hitsuji no yo ni yowari hate uchi hishi garete iru no omite fukaku aware mareta no aremas. Aware mi bukai shiesu desu ne. それも良い知らせですね。私たちの苦しみ、私たちの悲しみ、シエスはすべて分かってくださいます。助けてくださるのです。あわれみ深いですから。And it's wonderful because we see here that Jesus has this great compassion on people of all of our sorrows, all of our pains, Jesus understands them and he will bring healing to us at the right time. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. So, could they desh tachi ni iwarita? Shukaku wa oi ga hataraki te ga skunai. Dakara, shukaku no tamani hataraki te o okute kusari yo ni shukaku no shu ni negai na sai to. 主格の主に願いなさい。私たちはそれを祈るときに、もう自分もどの役目があるでしょうか。このシエスを信じる人たちの主格に、私たちは手を出して、どのような手伝い、助けができるでしょうか。それも主にお祈りして、私の役目は何ですかと願うのです。聖霊の導きによって行動しましょう。Jesus says, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. And we think of that, He wants us to pray to the Lord of the harvest for workers. But when we say that prayer, we must also examine our own hearts and say, What is my role in bringing in the harvest of souls for the kingdom of God, of bringing these people into faith with God and to trust in Jesus and walk with Him? And we don't all have the same role. But we all have some sort of role in that. And we just need to pray also that the Lord would lead us and guide us in what our own role might be. Let's finish with Matthew 28 19 and 20. Matai niju hasho juku sets niju sets de oi masho. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. And teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Dakara, Anatagata wa ite, Subete no tami o, Watashi no deshi ni shinasai. Kai ni chichi to koto, Seide no nani yo te, Sende o sazuke, Anatagata ni meji de oite koto o subete, Mamori yo ni o shinasai. 私は世の終わりまでいつもあなた方と共にいると。アーメン。お祈りしましょう。Let's pray, and this time I'll pray in Japanese. イエスキスの父なる神様、私たちは心から感謝します。あなたは憐れみ深いお方です。愛してくださる方です。どうか私たちを一人一人お導きください。私たちはあなたの御国のための働き、何かできるか、何をすべきかを教えてください。一人一人に
多くの祝福を与え、聖霊の導きを与え、そして悲しんでいる人々に、苦しんでいる人々に、あなたの憐れみ、あなたの恵み、祝福を与えください。癒しを与えください。励ましを与えください。寂しい人々に、あなたはいつも共にいてくださることを教えて、そのご臨在を感じるように助けて導きください。そして新しい出会いによって新しい家族、新しい友人をお与えください。兄弟姉妹をお与えください。教会の兄弟姉妹はあなたの子供であってあなたと共に歩むことができるように助けてください。この国を祝福してそして、戦争があるところに平和を与え、もう困った心に平和を与えください。大きな感謝を持って私たちは皆を褒めて耐えます。シエスの皆によってお祈りいたします。アーメン。